Hey guys, it's your boy Sag bringing you another Pixelmon video. And yeah, guys, um, I'm a little bit high up. Uh, yeah, see, my home, which was over there, is now not so much. It's now up here. So, yeah, guys, I built a gym on the roof. Oop, that was supposed to happen. But I built a gym on the roof of my new sky home and and moved a few things. So, got the bagon, or I thought it was bagon. Sounds like you're saying bacon. But I got them breathing, you know, trying to get myself a timid one. Oh, garbage system over there. But yeah, pretty much uh, moved all my items and got everything set. Now, I've been a little bit busy, as you can tell. And seriously, guys, killing that many milk tanks and tortoises and banffies, whatever they're called, just to get the leather to make the books and then the bookcases. Not to mention the long wait on sugarcane, even though I should put some light around here. Took forever, but... At least I have a, I can't even remember what it's called, an enchanting table that's at level 30. So as long as I reach level 30, I can enchant whatever I want. So yay. Now guys, I figured let me take a little time, work on my uh, team. And in the end, I was like, you know what? I'm, if I'm going to challenge Jim 1, I'm going to do it with my original, original team. Which, by the way, where did I put my computer? Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to do a few more things off camera, just getting ready. But my team is around here somewhere. Yeah, I know. I'm totally uh, showing off everything that I caught so far. Nothing to write home about, guys. You never know, some cool shinies, yay. Now, where are they? All right, there's my goal. Let Nah, SBN. All right, guys. So I'm uh, gonna be challenging the rock gym in a moment, and who knows? I might actually open this gym up. So maybe if people want to challenge me, I got my little setup here and my Nether portal, which yeah, guys, totally legit, right? All right, so I'm gonna cut here and come back when the gym is open again, because guys. I will take them on. I will fight them. So here's hoping. Now, guys, we are here in the rock gym. And Tyler, once again, is the gym leader we're challenging. So like last time, I started off with Espeon, and he pulled out Aaron. Now, Aaron has Shadow Claw, and it's his go-to to take out Psychics, apparently. So I pulled out Zapdos just like last time. And started to look like it was going to be a bit of a mirror match, but he does things a little bit different. I guess he remembered I kind of leaned towards the electric types. And Aaron hold on because of Sturdy. Really annoy him. And just as I'm thinking, okay, he's going to keep him in there and let him go to waste. Nope. He pulled out Onyx to take that electric bolt. Yeah. Should have realized something was up. But I switched out from... Onyx to Golit, thinking, all right, let me get Golit in there, hit him with Mud Slap, lower his accuracy, and take a couple of Earthquakes, but it doesn't really work as well as I planned, because he actually took Golit down this time. I'm like, all right, well, let me go through for my uh, go-to for him, and that was Infernape. I can't, well, I think it's Infernape. Yeah, so Infernape's his name, and Brick Break, boom. Takes him down. He sends in Aaron, and I'm like, well, before he does anything, let me outspeed him with Mach Punch. And I'm like, okay, now he's bringing out uh, his Psychic type to try and uh, get me. And, you know, I put U-Turn in so that when he pulls out his Psychic type, I'm in and out. I'll hit him, and I'll be right out of there. And, by the way, guys, the lag is real. So I knew he was going to go out with the psychic move, and 
Espion goes back out there, takes the hit like the boss. But last time, he didn't stand a chance against my Espion. Nunatone goes down. And I was having fun at this point, because now I'm like, all right, here comes Aerodactyl. Let me try and get a Reflect up, reduce his damage. No. Nah. Aerodactyl is fast and strong. I was like, well, you know what? Let me do this, man. Let me go for the the big the big move like I was hoping for. But eh, I okay okay fine. I made up my mind finally. Jolteon. Now my Jolteon, he is choice scarfed. I was making sure he was going to outspeed our Aerodactyl this time. And it turns out his Aerodactyl has higher speed IVs than mine. So he that's why he was able to outspeed him because I realized if that was the case he should have probably still ended up outspeeding me even if he was choice scarfed. But I gambled and I did right. And I hit him with uh, Thunderbolt and oh wait that's right he put, he switched them out. Whoops. <laughs> but yeah Aerodactyl does have sturdy so he is able to switch out. And at this point he was kind of screwed because I took out um, his other uh, rock flyer with that one shot. He called out Tortuga, who I was able to take out pretty easy, even though Sturdy held him on, and he was able to get in there with, um, with what was it, an earthquake? And then Aerodactyl I was able to take out. So, guys, I was really pleased with myself. At this point, I'm like, I'm, I should have really been recording because I was laughing. I was cheering. And you know what? Todd is actually a, a good opponent. I'm just lucky that he kind of went through the same motions as he did last time. And I, I was like, well, GG, man, real good. But what's taking you so long? Where's where's my rock boulder badge? I'm like, seriously, guys, give me my badge. Like, I'm looking. Like, this isn't fair. <laughs> Oh, guys, I, honestly, I was thinking, like, is he even going to give it to me? I'm like, uh, hello, Tyler, Boulder Badge, you lost. <laughs> like, I only, what, I lost three Poke out of his six? So uh, even if I'm using his Aptos, it's still something to be uh, worthy over, but finally, he gives it to me. And, guys, it was a really good fight. I was really enjoying it. So I just got to say, I am very happy. And you know what? Here it is. Here's my boulder badge. I want everyone to see. It's my boulder badge, and I beat the boulder gym. Now, guys, every time I say boulder, I want you to take a shot of gin. <laughs> boulder gym, boulder gin. But, yeah, guys, I am thrilled. The first gym is down. Water gym is next. And... I hit my face on a rock. <laughs> but, man, guys, with the next gym up, I know it's going to be a little bit harder. But I'm going to prep for it. I'm going to have a couple of new guys. You can bet, though, Zapdos is going to be there. It ain't called Raising Zapdos for nothing. But before I cut it off, I just want to show you one thing, is that when you do get your badges, type in rewards, and it will take you over here. And there are going to be the different places where you can go and you can look and then be like, oh, okay, if I click this sign, I'm going to get these TMs, which I can use for this and that. And you know what, guys? Given the fact that it is a little hard to get the, right, the Pokecoins and everything, you might want to hold off using any TMs that you get. Level your team up. Make sure these are the guys you want, the natures you want, and IVs you can live with. But I didn't want to hit it and then be like, okay, let me lose my uh, boulder badge. I, I want to keep it for a while. But like I said, you have it from one gym, and then each gym gives you two TMs each. Because you remember in the game, you, know, you beat a gym, they gave you like, oh, here's this move that I was using. Like, oh, it's Bubble Beam. And then Bubble Beam stopped being the TM. And that goes to show you how long I played Pokemon when Bubble Beam used to be a TM. But, yeah, guys, so I'm pretty happy. So uh, let me uh, let me walk back home. 
and just close this video off. And oh, okay, maybe I had a little too much to drink because I'm feeling a little woozy. Oh God, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, I should have eaten those chimichangas last night. Hashtag no more chimichangas. And uh, what? Uh, wait, this isn't my home. What the hell?